Hello there, I'm Maria from the Richardson Simple Living. Uh, today's Tuesday, so I'm going to do another quick vlog. I thought I'm going to do something a bit different today because normally I'm showing you something we're doing home school wise or something that's happening out there in the teeny tiny homestead. <laughs> How the garden's progressing and that. Although I do want to show you a bit of what's going on out there today. But it's the downside of everything. <laughs> I thought, um, because in my titles along the top, I've always got homeschooling, homesteading, home life, normally anyway, so sometimes it varies, but that's sort of what normally pops up. But I've done homeschooling, I've showed you homesteading, but I never actually show you home life as such or a behind the scenes type of thing. I think I once did a day in the life of, um, but that showed a lot of schooling as well. So I thought I'm just going to show you behind the scenes because things look so glamorous, don't they, on the, the videos. Everybody looks so marvellous and glamorous. I'm going to show you the real downside of it. The mess that I'm living in. The mess I'm sort out, doing the house. Um, well, I have showed you briefly all the boxes and it looks like the room I'm in is a junk room. Well, if that was the only room, I'd be quite happy, but it isn't. <laughs> We're upside down. We've got too much stuff anyway because of the passing away of um, over the last five years of some family members, a few of them, and for quite a lot of stuff. And the things that you hang on to for sentimental reasons, uh, and you sort of get emotionally attached to things, but then you get to a point where you think, I didn't want this stuff, I don't need this stuff, and I don't feel so emotional now you know you you feel like you can let go of it a bit and I've got to that stage now where I'm looking at all the clutter and I'm thinking it's too much it's too much and I don't really want this and I don't really want that and at the time I took it I felt like I had to hang on to it but now I don't feel that way I, I feel now that you know I've got to have living space so behind the scenes what goes on well um We've done a homeschooling today anyway. I've told you about that. Sean does a structured work in the morning now and in the afternoon she does some self-led work. She picks what topics she wants to do or today again she's doing art. She wants to do some art this afternoon because she's got some more ideas for country humans. So she wants to do them. Uh, she has been studying different war periods and things like that as well. But today art. So uh, she gets on with that, although it's lunchtime at the moment, she's having lunch. But while she gets on with that, I thought, well, I'll just show you behind the scenes of everything. Um, I am going to show you a bit in the garden today because uh, the disasters that can happen, or the potential disaster. But I thought, home life. I'm going to show you a bit um, of what, how I'm having to live at the moment because... I said we want to start a simple life. A simple life isn't just about growing your own fruit and vegetables and living off your own land and, you know, cutting down your working hours and having less stress that way. It, there's more to it than that. I mean, like I'm just saying about all the things I've acquired, that makes you feel stressed. It's stressful. So it's about minimalising things as well. It's about getting rid of things that you don't want making most of your space you know so you're not feeling so cluttered and closed in all the time because it doesn't half get you down so it's like part of living our simple life was to get the house as we wanted it um not just the garden outside but inside the house to be productive as well so i've got nice spacious kitchen because like i said we're knocking through and i'm going to show you that in a minute i'm some disasters <laughs> but yeah um Having a bigger kitchen to do things in so that I can go from garden to kitchen, that makes life a lot easier. Getting rid of all the stuff we don't want so we haven't got the stress of it all. So I'm look, not looking and I think, oh, that mess, that pile needs to go. And, you know, it's a, everything's just minimalistic. We've got what we need and what we're going to use. And it's a lot less stressful. So home life is part of that. And it's not just about when we all get together and you know, have fun in the sun or our Christmases that when we show like Christmas time, when we're doing all Christmas Eve boxes and when we go out shopping and hauls and things like that. It's not just about the fun occasions, it's home life is also the things and plans you're doing to make things better for yourself in your life, to live simpler and less stress-free. So I'm going to show you 
come in my room and you're gonna be pretty uh. <laughs> and I'll tell you what we're planning today because this is the home life at the moment so we've still got the little bird in here at the minute we've uh, he's down in the corner I turned the heat lamp off but it, then it went chilly we had all this rain and hail and it went really chilly so I've had to pop that on again but he's getting a bit big now and I want to think about taking him outside so I think um, today when he gets cleaned out later on I say he <laughs> I don't know if it's he or she although I could feel it might be he I don't know but I don't know but later when we clean him um, or turn the heat lamp off and it can stay off this time because I want to get him used to the conditions because I want to take him in his own little pen outside so anyway I'm going to take you off me now and I'm going to swing you around and I'm going to talk you through what we're doing and you can see all the mess <laughs> so I'll just swing you around right so I'm in the little back room and there's a chick I'm going to clean him out every day now as you can see, he's getting quite big. So I'm going to turn the lamp off, like I said, later. Getting used to the, without the lamp. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then I'm going to put him in his own little pen. But I'll leave him in here for a, a little while longer. But get him used to without the lamp. Right, so it's hard to swing around because I've got the dining table behind me. This room's so small. This room I want to turn back into our living room, room which it once was. So here I've got egg boxes up there and my iron stuck up there. I emptied all this rack and then it just got filled up again. In here, remember me telling you I was putting stuff on eBay? Well I've got things in there that uh, are all on eBay at the moment. And down below is another box with jigsaws and bits of pieces that are on eBay. Next to it is a big tub of Sean's pencils. And here there's just workbooks and things that need sorting out and some tops that need going. Um, the girls have put their art stuff in there, which needs to be moved out really. And the Dynamo Lab's on there for when we do some science experiments. And then underneath is a big box with stuff that needs selling and all Sean's workbooks. See, they're not in their order anywhere. They're just dumped on there and I just get out each day what she's using. Um, more things that are selling. Or oh, they're on eBay, those flagons down there. And we've got the sandpaper sheets and the bird food. Here, I've got a nose test trolley. It's a good job we're not having dinner parties at the moment because there's no way I can use it because it's full of tubs of um, oat milk and all Lisa's things that she's bought, food-wise. So that's all got to be cleared. And then we've got a drinks cabinet there that I acquired that we liked and thought was good. But whether we'll, we'll keep it or not, I don't know. Here we've got boxes like I showed you before. In the green packet there, we've got really old photographs. They're going in the loft. I'll swing around. They're my son's boxes, my eldest son's things on the table. He's got to collect them. That is Sean's old bed because Sean's had a new bed. There's nothing wrong with this bed. It's a, got to pull out a section at the bottom, which my granddaughter slept on when she came. But Sean's had a new double bed. So I don't know what to do with that. If nobody wants it, I suppose it'll just get broken up because it can't stay in the corner there. I'm having to go sideways around everything. That's my unit. That's got my cooking books on and my printer. That wouldn't be so bad, it just needs a little bit of decluttering, that's not so bad. And in the corner I've got a shelf that's got parrots dishes and things on because I can't fit them in my kitchen cupboard, I haven't got enough space. So I'm hoping to work more space out because it'd be so much better if I can. Again, there's boxes there, they're for jumble sale. I was thinking about actually having a yard sale. I've looked into it, it's not um, illegal or anything you're able to have yard sales. I was thinking if the weather got nice, I'd put a few tables out, advertise it on Facebook and have a yard sale because I've got loads of stuff, tons of books and all sorts. I've got things there that need processing that I've had from my auntie's house. There's some nice things and plates that I do want and cups and saucers. So I'm going to get rid of things I don't want and replace them with the things I do want. And the same with those boxes there. And uh, yeah, these, I don't know if I can get in to show you these really old, old, old pictures 
That's from World War Two. Some place in India where my granddad was. But yeah, the, I can't really show you. But yeah, they're all really old frames, antique. <laughs> That's what's in there, and they've got to go with all the other things in the loft. So I'll show you the next room now. I'll just see how cluttered it all is. Can't even get to the dining table to sit at it anymore. So I'll just go in the next room. Right, so that room where the dining table was, we're going to swap back into a living room. Now, this is my hallway. I've decluttered it once, chucked everything out, and somehow people throw stuff back in again. This flooring's all been ripped up. This is carpeting out my mum's house. And uh, I'm going to rip it all up. And I want lino down there, because as you can see, I've got the cat dishes, and it's easier for mopping and whatnot. So I've got the tubs of paint waiting there. I won't go up the stairs, but I'll just show. There's Jasper. He likes lying there because of the window. But look what they've done to the blinds. You can see? Taken a piece out of it so they can look out. All this carpet's coming up though. And all this. It used to be stained, as you can see. Then it had white paint and the white paint's come off. They've tried peeling some of it, but it's, I think they're going to have to burn it off. My husband says they'll all come apart and burn off. So they're going to do that. Now the stairs, I've decided not to have carpet as such on it. I'm going to have carpeted treads. So like on each top bit, there'll be a tread and then the bits in between the back bits are going to paint white. And then I was thinking like the handrail, because I'm going to have gray treads. I'm going to, uh, the handrail, I'm going to paint gray, but the rest white as it is. But like I say, it's got to be burnt off and redone. And then I thought like the wooden bit going up there and the bit coming down there, I'll perhaps paint grey to match handrail and the carpet treads and the rest will be white. And when I get to the top, the skirting board changes and the doors are white, so all that will stay white. So yeah, I mean, this won't be so bad to do. Um, boxes down there, that's actually my envelopes for posting things on eBay. <laughs> I did find a home for that. I've got my freezer under the stairs and my coat stand. Well, I don't mind that normally if I clear all this space. Trays of eggs and there's a cupboard there, but that's got all crafting things in. Now, I might throw the cupboard. I might not keep it. Um, or if it will fit down my new bit in the kitchen, I might pop it there just to put some of them bits in that you've seen on that shelving. Just. So, that's a hallway. Hasn't got a lot to be done. Um, once we get started on that, we'll soon clear all of this. Lots of mess at the minute, but we'll soon get done. I'm a clock. I got my great grandmother's clock, but the chime wouldn't work. So my daughter decided to see if she could get it to work. The eldest daughter, but the hands come off now. So that's going to go to a clock specialist and get sorted out. That has because I do want to get it going again because it was my great grandmother's and. It's okay, it's not in anyone's way there, that's no worry. <laughs> so, on to the next room. Right, we're into the living room now. This is probably the least cluttered of all. Um, I've got a box down here. The blue box has just got a few bits in. Um, I think they're to go in the jumble cell box, but I saved a big cardboard box and just popped it down there. It's huge, so I can get quite a lot of the jumble cell stuff into that box. Oh dear, it's raining. That means my husband will come home. I've gone out window cleaning today. <laughs> um, I've got acquired two light shades there, which are quite nice, which I think I'm going to put in the hallway and the top of the landing, so they're matching. I've got a stall from my granddad's house. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet, but it's small. Might go down the new bit of the kitchen. And that egg, I've got a lot of these. <laughs> That's just to go in the jumble box. But um, and there's a lamp there that I acquired. I don't know, see if somebody wants that. And if not, go in the jumble box. But other than that, apart from my Christmas decoration, uh, no, sorry, not Christmas, Easter decoration box there's got to go in the loft. My husband's been putting it in since the end of Easter, but it's still there. But those, my daughter bought me for Easter, are my new ones to go in the kitchen when that's done. So we're walking to the kitchen now because there's nothing really too bad in this room. Now my kitchen is very small as you know. Excuse all that on the side. We're going to have wraps for tea so things are defrosting. I would like more space in here. Now what I'm hoping to do with the kitchen, I don't know if we're a bit fuzzy actually because of the light. Um, the units, which you can see are like a 
pine colour. I'm going to get some unit paint and paint them a white satin. Then I want to get some black worktop so it's black and white and the floor it's carpet tiles at the moment so it gets really grimy and bitty i want something moppable especially with the dog and cats in winter when they're bringing all the sludge in so i'm going to get some black i've seen some in bnq cheap enough stick on tiles which i often find they always stick that well so you can get some adhesive to go with them as well and i'm going to have black ones that i can just mop so that's that swing around a bit so yeah, so I don't want to change all my um, units. I just want to paint them and sort of declutter a bit because we haven't got much space, that's the trouble. We haven't got much space at all. And like all the stuff around the microwave, I need somewhere for it really. Now I'm going to show you something. My husband, because all the tiles are going to come off and we're going to get have some pure white tiles we've been and seen them i'm going to collect them later this week so my husband decided just to take a few towels off but look it we've gone down to the plasterboard this is my disaster or dean's disaster some of the plaster is coming off as well but that's not the worst let me move the kettle out of the way and the um, machine coffee machine look see there's a tile but some bits have stayed on it's took out the plaster down to my husband said don't poke it near I'm poking it to the like cardboardy stuff and there's the lining underneath but it's bad because there's the electric wire above it so I'm worried that if it comes off like that all the way around we're gonna have a massive replastering job it's um, not good at all it started coming off all right there other than some of the plaster coming off but it's they're on so tight and my husband says it's just bringing all the plaster with it and we put these tiles on when we did the kitchen my husband put the kitchen in years ago and we put these on i'm going to wish i hadn't took them off <laughs> but hey i suppose um it'll all get done because i get stressed about mess and everything i've said to do it slowly bit by bit clean up as you go and we'll just replaster it before we do anything else although i'm thinking now all oh, this is going to have to come off and this backboard because if we pull this away because i imagine well i don't know if it's fastened down it, it's a bit of a gap but if i pull this away it might bring more plaster off so maybe this will have to come off at the same time and get all the worktop ready to go on just don't know i said to my husband let's get somebody in to do it no no i'll do it <laughs> anyway here's what this looks like shut the door cassie where are you going in or out coming in <laughs> squash your dog and dog. there you go look remember this had the wall here and the door you can see where it went to here look and this is all a big open space now loads just go find somebody who might want a set of drawers they were my grandmother she gave them to my mom and my brother said oh you can't get rid of them <laughs> so i've acquired them and had them all this time but i haven't got anywhere for them to go i really haven't so things have got to go got to be ruthless got to be ruthless so yeah i want to have um an American fridge freezer on the, along that back wall and the unit that we saw in the room where the dining table is you know the one I said wasn't too bad just needs a bit of sorted I might put that against this wall here and then perhaps the freezer chest freezers on the stairs might be able to go this side then because we've got plug down there Cassie investigating so yeah um that's what I'm hoping to do but it has uh, made it a nice big space you can see at the back door and right through now the curtains have come down don't really need them up it's frosted glass anyway so yeah with the um incident with the towels yesterday i went straight to b and q and i got some ready mix filler for filling plasterboard and stuff as i said we'll uh, fill it as we go along 
but looking at it now and thinking it's all going to come off, I think I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to need a lot more than that. We'll say, I'm hoping just because they're the areas that's damp above the kettle, that's why more has come off. Maybe kettle steam has dampened it. I don't know. I'm just clutching at straws and ideas. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know why my husband's got a spade in there. I think he must have been picking up all the debris where he knocked the wall down. So I can't go right back to the wall because the cupboard's in the way. But you can see, like the length now has made it much bigger. I mean, I might have even been able to have fitted a dining table in here if I hadn't got the other stuff in. But then I want to put my li where my living room is now. I want to swap it back to the dining room anyway. So we'll see. So if that fridge isn't there then, and behind me is where a fridge is going until I get the new one. The tunnel dry can actually go down because there's a whole outlet in the wall for the vent to go out. So that can go back down and it'll just be nice and flat. Not that I can still reach the window to open it because that's far too high for me. But yeah, that's um, sort of what's been happening. I do quite like this now it's open here and I must admit I do like it. I just hope that I don't fill it up with stuff. It already looks like stuff's creeping in but then I think it's a lot of it is what Dean is using anyway except for this box. This box is another jumble box full of bits and pieces. I do think I should perhaps have a yard sale and make a bit more money that way wouldn't it? After all, if you want to do simple living and cut down working, you need to make a bit more money elsewhere. So yeah, that's what that looks like. So as you can see, I've got an awful lot of things to do, a lot of um, tidying up. Although I think the good thing about decorating is um, we will tidy as you go because as you go through room by room it's like do you want this what you're doing with this where should we put this so you are sort of tidying in a bit but it's junk it's just too much stuff you just look a bit cockeyed to me excuse me <laughs> you look a bit cockeyed <laughs> but yeah as you can see there's a lot of stuff uh it hasn't helped acquiring other people's possessions and they've got to be quite ruthless so i've decided I want this, don't want this. I've already cleared through one tub the other day of bits and pieces and some furniture that was in a shed outside and said, no, right, we don't want it. Chuck it, chop it. And we got rid of quite a lot that way. And I just need to maintain that ruthless streak because we do want to live simpler. We don't want all of the hassle of all this because you've got all this stuff, it creates dirt, it creates dust, you can't clean properly, and it is stressful. It is stressful living in mess, it is. So yeah, I think um, I would like to have a yard sale. I would like to. Obviously the weather's not good at the moment. Rubbish weather here in England at the moment. <laughs> terrible well i don't know about all of england but i'm in derbyshire and middle of the, the middle of great britain the uk <laughs> it is horrible weather we're having like i say it got warm it got nice and then suddenly it started hailing again and it went colder again now we've done nothing but rain oh and that makes me think i was going to show you um outside in the garden but it did start raining we'll have a look now if it stopped so yeah I'll just snip and have a look, see if it's stopped and I'll show you. I think it's stopped. See, so even the patio is getting a bit cluttered up again with plant pots. He bought some um, like lilac pink bell zone for my uncle's garden. He says he can plant them, but he hasn't done yet. Doesn't that one look nice, that orange one? I think that's quite a beautiful idea. It's lovely. Well, I'll show you fairy garden that the plants the little fairies in it and the unicorn <laughs> and the little well I think that fairy's fallen <laughs> don't know if she'll stay on or oh, sit on the plants <laughs> there was a bigger unicorn that was, oh she's there not unicorn fairy I had her sitting on the rocks that's it the children been playing with them. So yeah, just have to show you that. But I'm going to have a look at these plants. 
clouds are looking all right for the rain and the weeds are definitely coming up there but on the plus side that um, little strawberry there seems to be taking off which is good but all the rain let's see see the sweet corn that was beautiful and green lush looking look at the edges of the leaf now oh the finger <laughs> no i can't really point to it but you can probably see they've gone brown and dried a few of them have gone like that um yeah that all the rain non-stop rain no sunshine and they're just withering really and the same I don't know if I can see from here let's have a look at that one there see the leaf is all dying off on the runner bean at the bottom and it's blowing now as you can see I'm blowing it's windy now the wind's picking up the rest are looking okay though I think I've talked in a bit too much there the rest are looking okay but it's odd ones I'm having to watch the downside of constant rain in this country just never ends once it starts that's it doesn't want to end can hear the bin men so yeah I'm a bit concerned about that I hope it's okay I hope we get a bit more sunshine I'll show you the lettuce as well I think I'm gonna have to plant some more I've got a dahlia growing in here there we are see that pans is not doing so well and I've got a daily coming now which is good but <sighs> my letter says there was lots of them they just not do nothing they're just dying and some have vanished like that area altogether has vanished altogether it's so cold Dean says maybe you should put some polythene around the side of it I'm thinking maybe we should just get some walking polytunnels there's one that one down there's not too bad but the wind is blowing at them leaves have snapped off and they've just withered not doing nothing spectacular a lot of these are just like loose floppy leaves and plants have gone all together so i am going to have to um, put some more up do some more netted in the raspberries because the birds were pinching my leaves off it everything else seems okay we're having to water inside the tunnels I thought the condensation would have kept it moist and when it rained so hard the ground being wet would have gone underneath but no they were drying out and yesterday we had to get the hose pipe up the tunnel to water them so that's something we've got to keep an eye on Still not put the peas in yet, but hopefully we'll do soon. And we'll have a quick look at the potatoes over here because like they're under like a lip of the roof of the house. They don't always get the rain. Oh, they're coming on nice. Look at them. They're doing really well. Once they get to a certain height, she'll start building them up then. They're doing good. I'm pleased with them. Got to watch it don't trip over the house pipe here. So we'll go back in now. So yeah, that's um, everything I was going to show you. So it's not a homeschooling vlog today. Uh, it's not particularly a homesteading vlog, but I have showed you what's going on. I'm a bit concerned about that because it's rain. It's given out rain all week and nothing's doing so well. So I think them lettuces I've just showed you, I'm going to do some more and perhaps keep them in the greenhouse see how they go and just keep my fingers crossed with the beans and the sweet corn I've got plenty more beans as I showed in um, a video a long time ago all those great big jars of them I have so if needs be I might have to give them a whirl because I didn't give them a whirl in the end but I am tempted to do a few of them but yeah we'll see how they go I mean they're not looking so bad some of them but some of them I think perhaps are catching the wind and the bad weather more than others and of course the sweet corn i just hope that's okay i have got more sweet corn but it puts it all behind when you have to start it all again even in the greenhouse you end up about a month behind with everything 
So I really do think maybe I should get some walking polytunnels. <laughs> See, that gives you stress as well. <laughs> I need to sort of work on it and get it just right how we want it. So yeah, um, giving you a quick tour of what jobs we're doing, what we're doing behind the scenes at the moment, what goes on when we're not homeschooling and when we're not out there in the garden. They're the sort of things that we're doing at the moment. Um, it will look nice. I've got a vision of what it'll look like when it's done. Whether the vision will match up to the reality <laughs> remains to be seen. <laughs> I can always visualise things, but half the time they're never like I think they're going to be. So we'll see. We'll just wait on that one and see. So yeah, um, Tuesday. So I'll probably come on at the end of the week now, maybe. Might try and aim for Friday this week and um, we'll see what's happening, what we're doing, show you the progress on everything we're doing and uh, how it's all going. If I've got a kitchen wall or whether my kitchen's going to be literally open plan. <laughs> but, oh, we'll see. Oh dear, I'm dreading any more tiles coming off. I really am. But I've got that pot ready, but I think I'm going to have to get some more. But Dee said, let's buy a bag and I'll mix the bag up. And I said, no, no, just for a little bit. If you only want a bit of ready mix, it's easy. We'll just get up a ready mix. He never said to me how big a mess it was looking and how, I mean, I glanced at it, but he never actually said that all of the plaster was coming off all the way along. He just said, oh, it came off all right by the sink. It's just this bit here. So I just thought, oh, just a tub, you know. Now I know why he said, perhaps I should have a bag of plaster. If he'd have explained this, <laughs> I might have said, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. I mean, it's not the first time we've plastered walls. We've had to plaster all the back walls in this room. When um, we first moved in and we went to take the wallpaper off to decorate because it got that really old-fashioned chip wood on that councils used to shove in all the houses. And took it off and it was bare plasterboard and it all came off. So... We had to start again and replastered all the walls. So it's just going to get a bit messier. I do get a bit stressed with mess. Well, a bit is an understatement, but I do get very stressed with mess. This is why everything around me is stressing me at the moment. And there's no way I can feel I live simply with all of that. But it's all part of getting it all together. It's all part of the, you know, the overall thing, S simplifying everything. So yeah, I'll hold on to thought it'd be nice when it's done. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you now anyway, or I'll be waffling on forever. I shall see you probably the end of the week and we'll have a look what we're doing then, whether it's something in the home life or out on the homestead or just homeschooling. We'll see what's going on and we'll give you a look at what we're up to. So I shall see you Friday, I think Friday. We'll go with Friday. So until then, take care. Bye everybody.